Some civil society organizations have stressed the need to target children and youth for a reorientation and engagement in a more articulated way through civic education. They stated this during a two-day civic education meeting for secondary school aged children in Port Harcourt, River State Capital. The project coordinator of Oxfam in Nigeria, Henry Ushe, said the objectives of the two-day event include engendering responsibility by promoting transparency and accountability for public funds, as well as interest in governance. Also speaking, executive director of the Connected Development Code, Hamzat Lawal, said the event was imperative to start building the next generation of leaders and inculcate integrity in them. Yeah, to also look at how do we begin to catch young people, you know, as early as they can, as we can, to ensure that we begin to create conscious and awareness and mobilize them such that they're able to look at all of these injustices and around them. We believe as civil society we can work closely with government to enhance what they're doing and support the work that they're doing. But most importantly, ensure that the kind of investment that were needed in the next generation of leaders are properly uh, utilized. So for us, we're bringing students that, are, that have inculcated leadership skills in them naturally. Speakers at the event said the ability of the government to engage young people will help in enhancing peace in the society. Meanwhile, some of the students said they learned how to embark on advocacy for transparency, integrity and honesty among others. Education is a key determinant of the emergence and sustainability of democracy because it promotes political participation at the individual level and fosters a collective sense of civic duty. Building community integrity is of utmost importance to everyone, both as a child and as an adult, because it is the only thing that can drive sustainable peace in our country. Today we're learning about integrity. I think integrity is the virtue of being honest and and fair in one group for society. And I think that the extension of the teachings of the is going to really help young people. The project tagged Power of Voices, Fair for Rural Project, was established in six states in Nigeria, including Delta, Emo, Akwaibom, Cross River, River State, and the FCT. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.